Welcome to the competitive world of Rainbow Six Siege. The following video will explain how the Rainbow Six Esports works in the Latin American region, how the region fits into our global esports program, and what you can do to get involved in Rainbow Six competitive play. First off, let's set the scene. Globally, four regions compose the Rainbow Six Esports program, North America, Latin America, Asia Pacific, and Europe. Each region has its own dedicated competitive format that we'll dig into a little later. On a global scale, the Rainbow Six Esports program refreshes every year. One year equals one season, running from March to the following February. The four independent regional leagues run from March to December. These leagues are divided into three stages. At the end of each stage, the top four teams from each region will qualify for the Six Major, a global competition featuring the top 16 international teams. Depending on their ranking in the regional leagues and the majors, teams will earn points for the global standings. At the conclusion of the three stages in December, the 16 teams with the most points in the global standings will automatically qualify for the Six Invitational. Four extra teams will have one last chance to qualify for the competition through regional open qualifiers, making the Six Invitational a 20-team competition, the most prestigious Rainbow Six esports event, and a chance for teams to dominate the global stage and prove they are the best in the world. Let's move on to Latin America and our own unique league structure. Here in Latin America, we take great pride in our roster of skilled pro players, so let's just say our tournaments are always heated. In the Latin America League, we have a total of 25 teams vying to win each season. The teams are divided into three regional leagues. Brazil has 10 teams, Mexico seven teams, and South America eight teams. In each league, those teams will compete in a round robin system, meaning each team will face all the other teams in a best of two across two maps. A win is rewarded with three or two points, depending if the team win two or just one map. A draw one point and zero for a loss. The stage ends once all the teams have faced each other once. By the end of each stage, the best five teams of Brazil, two from Mexico and one from South America will face each other in the Latin America League Finals. A momentous four days full of Latin American rivalry in a crowded arena. More on this later. The teams placed fifth to eighth in the Latin America League Finals will score points for the global standings. In parallel, the top four will be qualified for the six major, and depending on their final placement in this competition, will earn points for the global standings. Stage two will follow the same model, and the same thing for stage three. In Latin America, we also want to determine who the best team per stage in the region truly is. The three stages of the Latin American League Finals will determine three Latin American champions per year. And in November, the rankings of the three stages are combined to get the final rankings of the season in each region. The top four teams of Brazil, Mexico, and South America will battle it out for the title in each of their own regions and will be crowned champion of each division during a special LAN event. This means each region will have its own event and a prestigious champion by the end of the year. On the other side of the final rankings, in Brazil and Mexico, the last team will play a relegation match, and if they lose, the team will go straight to League B of their own region. However, in South America, the last two teams will need to struggle and battle for their sunspot against the first and the second teams on South American League B. The Open League is the entry point to the Latin America League, and everyone can play in it. All the major Latin American divisions host an Open League, and after a series of Open Cups, the best eight teams will try to reach the elite of this division on a short-term tournament, known as League B. In Brazil and Mexico, the winner will have the opportunity to face off the last team on the division. For South America, again, they will go to relegation matches, the first of B against the last of League A, and the second of B facing the seventh place of A. In short, the Latin American Rainbow Six Esports program is an open structure, meaning that each and every player has the chance to compete from local community tournaments to the biggest stage of Rainbow Six Esports, the Six Invitational. It's yours for the taking. Join us by watching our weekly broadcast or competing in the official competitions.